Let's go. Race 15, Orient Express Racing, Enios Britannia. A French here, a little bit late, in ri at risk of being dialed here by the British. They'll have to keep clear. And he was protesting that Ineos did not keep clear. They were so vulnerable late into the box. Yeah, it's all important to keep the pace on for those entries. So, ah, that's not what the French need. Penalty. Yeah, the British here, basically doing their own sort of time on distance. They've gone out. They've obviously got the pen penalty on the French. Gone out to the other side of the course. They'll be coming back and they'll be looking to tack or jibe inside the French here on their own time on distance for, a, for another push. No problem here. Are you working out? Boats now head to head coming together. We never see this. A pretty easy start there for the British. Just tack and cleared the line there. I think they realised they were over the line and they were just by a couple of seconds. The British there, just a little mistake by them, but they do have the advantage. So we are underway in at race 15, Orient Express Racing, and Daniels Britannia. Confused like the like the sea state that starts. A little unorthodox and crikey's a little mistake there by Ineos Britannia has just opened up the door for the French and French now leading by 70 metres, surely. French did well, they got up to speed really quickly. They did a great job. I mean they were a little bit behind the gun when it went, but they were wheels up, so they just have to sail the boat cleanly here. It's all about executing and just sailing the boat cleanly from here. We are getting it all on day four of the Louis Vuitton preliminary gather. Emirates team New Zealand being beaten by American Magic, the Italians getting home after a penalty and also a poor start in that big stuff by Alinghi Red Bull Racing. And now we've got another cracking match race on our hands. Yeah, it looks pretty light right up, but the, we're at the top mark and it certainly uh, looks lighter. And, and um, if I'm looking out, the centre centre right looks to be the best pressure coming down at the top mark. If they can lay this right hand turn, I've got that being quite a big gain for the French there. One less manoeuvre potentially up towards the top, and the manoeuvres in these conditions are so costly. If they can make it, which it looks like they are, I've got them actually with quite a comfortable lead here. Orient Express Racing are coming into the top mark for the. First time in this race, and supporters will love to hear that. They are leading Enios Britannia as they head on the downward leg. You've been working with the French team, Glenn. I mean, they were late to get their boat. They waited for the final design to come from New Zealand, knowing that they would be short of time to get to grips with it. I mean, how impressed are you with them today? Oh, look, it's just fantastic to see the team you know, out on the water and actually racing. It's, uh, you know, they've been waiting for this moment for a long time. You know, haven't, haven't had a huge amount of time on the water compared to everybody else. And you can just see the team there. Flight control in the front, helmsman in the second position, third and fourth, the cyclors on both sides. And you now the team will be really, really loving seeing the, the guys get the boat around the track, but they have had a wobbly jibe. Bow on bow here. Oh, and a lead change, Ineos Britannia. It's just one little wobble. One little wobble. And a lead change. On board, Ineos Britannia here. The French coming back on starboard. They've got the right of way. Big decision time here for Ineos Britannia. Hey, coming up uh, the line. Protest. Hey, protest. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Nice to meet you again. Sorry. Uh, it's going to be contact in the back. 
Protest button being pushed there by the French, but I think they were clear. Enios, I think, were okay. And Enios Britannia will head into that bottom gate ahead and just ahead of Orient Express Racing. So tight this far to go. Enios Britannia around. In come Orient Express Racing. Uh, Big cross coming. French right of way. A little touchdown by Ineos there. And I'll wash a, wash a bit of pace off. Really close to still. So any, anyone's game here. Any one little wobble. Well, the comms on board there, not to hit the French there, surely. Really interesting comms there. British just doing a pretty stock standard manoeuvre there, hurting them on the long tack, forcing the French to tack away. And and it will be great racing. Enios Britannia taking the left mark as you see it. And you'll see behind them, they're going for an express racing. This is the race committee. We are shortening the course to five legs. Finish at the next windward gate. So it'll be an upwind finish for race 15 here at the Louis Vuitton preliminary regatta. Ineos Britannia just hooking into a nice little bending breeze there. You can see the track. Yeah, really interesting seeing the two boats with the two different sail plans, but yet racing, you know, quite close. So in the puffs, that'll suit the smaller jib, and in the lulls, it'll suit the bigger one. So because it's so puffy and shifty, both boats taking their turns. We are not done with here in race 15. Remember, this is the second to last leg. They've just changed the course. It'll be an upwind finish. Ineos Britannia coming into the bottom gate for the final time and heading upwind for the finish in race 15. Whoa. Oh, wobble there, Ineos Britannia. Just may have got away with that. That was really close to a, a splashdown. French only just getting hooked up out of that jibe as well. So right on the edge there of not being able to get down and around that mark on the foil. So really tricky conditions, surely, in this bumpy light air with these, you know, super highly tuned boats. And Nils Britannia sort of look like they're sailing away pretty comfortably now. Uh, Eos Britannia lined themselves up for the first line, an upwind fish in a five leg race. And they will come home very happy. Win number two in the preliminary regatta, but more confidence boost ahead of the Louis Vuitton Cup. The challenger of record gets the job done here in Barcelona in race 15. So confirmation of the final race in the Louis Vuitton preliminary regatta round robin, and it's Enios Britannia getting the win 48 seconds ahead of Orient Express Racing. Win number two, 